Hi, and welcome to 4-Minute Answers, the place to get quick answers to your important questions. And in this video, we'll show you seven reasons I love Notion, and three reasons it still isn't perfect. Notion is a powerful organization tool that we use to organize our work and life, and we have a series of quick Notion videos designed to take you from Notion novice to pro. So subscribe to 4-Minute Answers, and when you do, leave a comment below that says you're a new subscriber, and we'll say hi. So let's get to it. Now, we've been using Notion for over three years, uh, and we want to share with you seven reasons to love Notion and three reasons maybe to hesitate. Number one, Notion is infinite. Now, I know this really isn't true, but the way Notion is structured, I can have a page that has a database, and then in that database, I can open up another page that has a database, and then in that database, I can open another page that has yet another database, and it goes on and on. You can never exhaust the capacity of Notion. Number two, Notion talks to itself. Now, I know it sounds crazy, but you can have two distinct parts of Notion talk to each other, and updating one will automatically update the other. For example, we recently showed you how to create a recipe gallery, and in there we linked to a shopping list. So by indicating what ingredients you don't have in your recipes, that automatically adds it to the shopping list. So when you tell Notion how to talk to itself, you just can let it talk to itself, and you don't have to. Number three, one Notion database can cascade into others. So let's say you have a goals database. Your goals can feed into your projects database, which can feed into your tasks or action items database. You don't need to always visit your goals area to know what you need to work on next. Number four, Notion is great for focus. Notion's filtering capabilities allow you to have one area that you can see in different ways and in different places. For example, I have one action items database for all the tasks I have, whether personal, side hustle, or work. Same with goals and projects. However, I have it set up so that when I go to my work dashboard, only work stuff appears. Now, underneath it's the same database, but I've filtered it to just show me the work stuff. I did the same with my personal dashboard and my side hustle dashboard. Number five, Notion's Web Clipper is really useful. I really like this Web Clipper uh, extension because it brings the whole article in and not just the URL. Notion's Web Clipper currently works with Chrome, but not with Safari. And I can take it and I can move it to an inbox I have in Notion and then sort from there. Number six, Notion is priced right. And while I use the personal pro level at under $50 per year, if I was starting again, I would likely use the free level. The only limitation of the free level that I've experienced is uploading a file that is greater than five megabytes. Otherwise, it seems the same, but even at $50, it's cheap. Number seven, Notion is with you everywhere. Well, I probably use Notion the most on my laptop. I also have it on all my devices. So wherever I am, I can access it. It does require either a Wi-Fi or a cell signal, which is a bit of a drag. However, that's a small price to pay. Now, here are three things that I don't especially love about Notion. Number one, Notion can be overwhelming, especially at the beginning. If you're new, the best thing you can do is to think about what you want to organize. So check out our Organizing Notion to Work For You video here. And I'll also put a link below. Good news is that there's always something to learn. Number two, Notion doesn't have a great way to forward emails to it yet. Now, I ended up doing a two-step process, which is a bit ir irritating. I'll forward an email to my Evernote, my free plan there, and then I link my Evernote to Notion. I've set up an inbox in Notion where I can dump these and then I can sort from there. It's not ideal, but it works. And number three, recurring events. Notion isn't great about setting up recurring tasks or reminders. And so far, the only way I've figured out how to do it is if it is a recurring task, instead of marking it done, I just set the date for the next time that it's due. A weekly report, when I'm done, I just push the due date out a week. It works. So now you have my seven top reasons to love Notion and my three reasons it's not quite perfect. Now, overall, Notion is a powerful tool for me and it is the best life organization tool out there. If you're new to Notion, check out our other Notion videos on this channel to get started. And if you have suggestions or questions about anything you'd like a quick answer to, please add it to the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.